Hey, it's Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Now I'm doing low carb while I'm in maintenance. Thank you for watching. Let's get our stuff ready for tomorrow. I have me some sleepy time tea going on. It's about 7.20. I haven't drank that stuff in a long time. I have two eggs and one wedge of, of cheese. I'm... I got this much left of my pork. It's uh, just ground pork that I crock potted. And I have some of these sauteed veggies. Oh, I made these back a while ago. They just have been buried. So we'll give myself a good, good spoonful. And um, that, I'm gonna keep this spoon out. I'm gonna need it here in a minute. Uh, I'll set it on my Anyway, so that's going to be my breakfast in the morning. And uh, where's my lid? I thought I had a lid. I don't have a lid. All right. So that's going to be my breakfast in the morning. Is that right there? I could probably do some avocado, but uh, this will be plenty. That's plenty, Terry. That's plenty. Let me just set it here for a second just to kind of get it out of the way. Um, I'm taking some chai tea tomorrow. I got my spoon in there. Got that in there. Let me kind of rearrange. Give me just a second. So let's start with, let's see. Let's see what we have for our side. Looks like it's, I don't know if it's, I think that's mashed turnip because it's white. Rutabaga would be an orange. So it's mashed turnip with some onion gravy because I said, when I made the onion gravy, I did that to see how it's going to taste. Then that's some chili. And that is some ground beef. Um, we'll have the ground beef with the mashed stuff tomorrow evening. So we'll take chili tomorrow for lunch. And with the chili, we're going to have us a salad. Um, let's see. Today for you... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is Wednesday. So my video for how I make my salads is up. So that's one of my salads right here. It's what I take to work every day with me. I like a salad because it's very filling. Having all those vegetables, they're, they're um, low calorie, but they fill me up. And I like that filling as we all know. So I'm, I just wanted to finish off that pico de gallo. This is some peppers that I cut up this weekend. Just some yellow and orange and red peppers. I'm gonna put some of those in there. Put my little paper towel back in there. I love that you guys taught me that about putting that paper towel and turning my vegetables upside down. Y'all are genius. I don't care what I say when you're not around. You're geniuses. Okay, now let's get us some, some uh, pickled veg. I say pickled veg because there's onions and cucumbers and peppers in here. Mostly cucumbers, but um, now I'm going to get some of this juice. I'm kind of at a weird angle, I know, but it's the only way I can do it. When you're right-handed, you're kind of stuck. One more little bit. Okay. There we go. Now. Now, now, now. How now, brown cow? Okay, but what we do need is some salad dressing and some seasoning. So we're going to turn this on. Let me get some seasoning on it right quick. Got some guacamole and more. It's just right there, quick and easy. I'm going to... Mom, I'm going to try some of this Old Basin seasoning on my salad. This is the stuff Mom brought home from somewhere in the New England states. I don't know. She went, she went, she went that away. She went north and east. And that's all I know. Don't ask where. All right. So now let's put in our dressing. I'm trying to let this one run out so then I can go on and start a new dressing. Not quite. I'm going to finish it up. I really, I'm going to step on the scale tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bet you I'm going to have some regrets. 
I say that because, I don't know, I feel like I was nibbling on some stuff this weekend. Oh, and I made, I tried the, um, oh, those, those, uh, those chips. You know, I ate, I ate two servings of those chips at lunch the day that I did that. I don't remember. I think it was Saturday. I ate two servings of them chips. And so that was a lot of calories. Wait, wait, wait. I got the breakfast, lunch, and snack. And my teas and my spoon. All right. Um, you know what I'll do with breakfast? These are getting kind of sketchy. So I'm going to put these in a Ziploc bag and take them with me. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I had a, I had two servings of them chips. I'm actually, I, I actually had to take the rest to mom's house. You know, I, just knowing that I had a serving of them here. I mean, I wasn't walking by and taking any, but I was afraid that it was going to get to the stage where I was. So that's why I took them to mom's house today. So, all right. And then back in here, I've got my, my electrolytes in my coffee cup. And I have a little cake up ready to go in the morning for my coffee. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at breakfast. I'm gonna sip around on my, I'm gonna keep sipping on my sleepy time tea, bye. Monday morning weight check. Remember, I'm in maintenance, so I'm just keeping an eye on my weight to see how it does throughout the day or throughout the week. Quit talking, Terry. Happy Monday. It's breakfast time. I've got my eggs, and I forgot to salt them. Okay. So, there we go. Got my eggs ready. It took, um, I did two minutes and then stir them up, and then one more minute. So it took about three minutes total. So here we are. Mm -hmm. um, and tomatoes. Okay, I'll see you lunch time. It's my favorite time of the day, you know. You know I love lunchtime. I just love it. Because <clears throat> I get my big old salad and we got my chili today. So, we got my hicka bean chili. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I told y'all I bought some um, of those black soybeans. I'll try that next time. But if you can't eat soy, because I know some people can't eat soy and you know that's why they do keto but anyway so yeah the, we'll try that next time and then we got my salad my apple all right i don't know why i love lunchtime but it really is my favorite meal of the day i think because it's so much i don't know i always like it and it makes me happy so okay I'll see you at supper time. Bye. Hey there. So let's look at supper. We're going to do a little mix and a match in here. Um, we have ground beef. And this was uh, mashed turnips when I made my onion gravy. So for the ground beef, I'm thinking along the lines of go with me here. Wait a minute. I need to find my something here. Um, I'm thinking like roast, so I'm thinking things like, um, you know, like uh, garlic salt, onion salt. I'm going to put in a little bit of umami. So here's some, I don't know, why does that not open? I think I did something to these the other day, but I don't remember what I did. Okay, so there's some garlic salt. And Oh, I know, I put in a little of, um, I put in some, some of those desiccant things because they they kind of were clumping so anyway some garlic and onion salt we're going to put in a pinch of this boom all day it's an umami savory flavor just going to put a little bit in there so like i said we're trying to 
I'm thinking like a roast that you would have mashed potatoes with. So I want my meat to taste real meaty. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Sometimes I wonder about the words coming out of my mouth too. So let's taste this. Now hang on. I, I have a I have a, a thing I'm going for, so all right. Now <clears throat> now that's that. Over here, this is the turnips and onion. So I'm just gonna mix this up. This was onion gravy and mashed turnips. Now I want to get that so it's all the same on every bite. And so it's, I, my thought saw process is it's going to taste like roast. And I must say mashed potatoes and gravy, but we know turnips don't taste like mashed potatoes. But let's see what we think. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. With that onion gravy on top of those turnips, I'm going to tell you about it. Let me see. Let me tell you, that's good. If you are low carb, now I know the onion gravy might be a little too much, but you ain't got to use as much onion gravy as I did, you know, and you could thin it out or use a broth, you know, use more of the seasonings and less onions, whatever you need to do to make it work, but... Holy cow, that really does, that really does taste like mashed potatoes and gravy. All right, now, here's where it's going to get a little bit, I am so sorry. Here's where it's going to get a little bit sketchy for some people. I'm going to take my ground beef, I'm going to dump it right on in there. We are making, what I, what some people would say, we're gaumen today. Gaumen, G-O-M-M-I-N. But I think it's probably G-O-M-I-N-G. -I, I don't know, but I am gaumen today. And that just means just hodgepodge. You're just mixing up stuff. You're just gaumen. So we are gaumen today. Now, let me get this all stirred up. Because this is going to be... This is going to be like... Think about it. Your grandma's, your... Stepmoms, grand, great grand, I don't know, whoever your family member is. And you, know, you cooked a roast for Sunday dinner. And they had some mashed potatoes there. And you scoop a bite of the meat and a bite of the mashed potatoes and gravy. Do you hear it? Do you hear him? Do you hear him singing? Shh, listen. You hear the angels? That's that. This feeling, I can only imagine that the way I feel when I eat things, that has to be how heaven feels. I'm sure it's even better. I understand that. But I'm just saying. The joy I feel when I eat, if I feel like this in heaven, I want to go. I want to go, and you should want to go, and you should want to go. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. You did a dang good job. I almost want to say a cuss word. You did a good job, Terry. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what people say about the way you eat and the way you cook. Dang good job. And you are still maintaining. Cuss chow. You go, Terry. Go, Terry. It's almost your anniversary. Almost your anniversary. Go, Terry. Mm-mm. 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 Yeah, buddy. If you ain't eating stuff that I eat, I'm sorry for you. Turnips. Turnips with gravy and bean and beef. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could add some tomatoes to it, but. You know, your grandma might have something like that. Sliced tomatoes, but this is, that's what I'm eating tonight. What are you looking at, buddy? Anyway, that's my supper. And I'm happy. I'm happy. Go, Terry. Go, Terry. It's your anniversary almost. It's your anniversary almost. Go, Terry. Go, Terry. Go, Terry. 
Okay, bye.